Okay, now I got a fresh start, so let me uh, wrap it up. But like I was saying about the insurance, okay? He covers you with your finances. He covers you with your emotions. He covers you with food. He covers you with gas and your vehicle. Everything that our normal needs are in life, he's got it covered. And he covers you with a relationship all oh, against evil. That's against evil, your health and strength. He has you covered. I will cover you where you won't need prescription drugs. You won't need medicines because why? I got you covered. So you have full coverage. Full coverage when you have a relationship with God and Jesus. Now, the Muslims may disagree, Buddhists and so forth and, you know, all the different religions. But here's the thing. People only try what works. People only reapply themselves to what works. If you pray to Allah and you are getting blessed and good is happening in your life, then apparently Allah must be real. But if you are trying to authenticate or imitate Allah and you trying to put on an act or a scene like he real but all along is being self is self fulfilling blessings and self fulfilling miracles then that's not exactly true or official is it but a person that prays and things happen in their life that's not self fulfilling that they didn't cause to happen or doing like some sorcerer or magician on a stage where they having self fulfilling magic where it's not a gift, but it's things they alter and manipulate behind the scenes to make it seem as if it's a gift or seem as if it's supernatural, then no. That right there, you won't believe too quickly, and it's not real, it's not true. But when you pray and things are happening, this not being manipulated or altered behind the scenes by yourself, and not being manipulated and altered behind the scenes by man working for you as far as making it seem as if it's a miracle making it seem as if it's supernatural so that you can receive praise and glory or people look up to you from what you didn't have work behind the scenes to make it seem as if it's from God but when nobody helping you nobody helping you none whatsoever and you pray to God, you pray to Jesus, and these miracles are happening, and and you pray to them in secret, and nobody heard you, nobody carried it out to trick you, to make it seem, no, it was actually in secret, by yourself, one on one with them, and all of a sudden, what you pray for, comes to at you out the blue from an angle that you least expected to come, so you try it again, you may say, hmm, that was coincidence, ah, that was just luck, but you didn't have a foley clover at the time that you prayed, you didn't have a rabbit's foot at the time, you didn't have a horseshoe and all that other superstitious stuff, the only thing present was you and God and Jesus, the only people was present, so you prayed, you asked for this in your prayer with a humble and sincere heart, and after you ask with a humble and sincere heart, you walk away. You're like, okay, let me see if this is true. Let me see if this is real. And then, all of a sudden, from an unexpected angle, you get what you pray for. You get what you ask for. So you're like, okay, let me try this again. That may be a coincidence. So you try it again. And next thing you know, it happens again. And you try it again. And it happens again. And you try it again. People, that right there lets you know. Hmm, wait a minute. Every time I follow the instructions. As a matter of fact, where where is my book? <laughs> I got my Bible up front. But yeah. But this this part of it. Every time I follow the instructions. This is the apocryphal, I got my Bible up front. But also in here is prophecy as well. Every time I follow the instructions, I see that it's working. Aha! But there's another thing. 
there's another one if you read instructions from a manual the only way to know those instructions are true is to try those instructions that's the only way you can gain a testimony that those instructions are authentic and are official that's the only way you have to try the instructions so the instructions say push and move this level over here and pull it down over here and this should happen okay so I'm gonna move this level over here like it says and I'm gonna pull it down here and let me see if what I'm reading gonna happen so when you do and you follow the instructions ding oh I heard the bell like it said I was in these instructions that instructions say lift up and you should hear a buzzing sound okay the instructions tell me to lift up and I should hear a buzzing sound I'm lifting Bzzz. oh there's the buzzing sound same way when it comes to the scriptures okay the instructions say X with a humble and sincere heart submit to God Submit yourselves to God. Ask with a humble sincere heart. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the door shall be open to you. So you follow the instructions as it tells you. Telling you how to pray. Telling you how to come, come to God. And when you follow them and you see that it works. That is authentic and official. That it is real. Okay, that it is real. But if I'm following instructions in the Quran and in the Protestant and all this other stuff and it ain't working for me, well that must let me know, and not just for me, but for several other people, that must be letting me know it's something false about the book. Because when I look at the King James Holy Bible and I follow them instructions, wow, it's working. Everything is saying for me to do is working. All these testimonies of these other people who are talking about how they tried God and how they experienced Christ and miracles and so on. I'm gaining those same testimonies that these other people didn't gain. I gained them too. They right. I know what they're talking about. How do I know what Paul is talking about? How do I know what Mark is talking about? Luke, John, and all. How do I know? Because I tried what I read. I tested what I read. And by me testing what I read, I gained a do -do 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 testimony. And in order to get a testimony, you have to test something. You know when they have a car and they show cars on television and they say this got a five star a government approval rating and a, it'll have four stars or five stars. How does the government give an approval rate on this car? The government, somebody in Congress who's in that area, a senator or something, goes out and tests these cars to approve a four or a five star rating from the government. A representative of the government goes to test these cars and say, hey, this car or this vehicle right here, we give it four or five stars. Why? Because he tested it and it qualified to be a good car. So by qualifying, by him testing it and taking it through trials to see if all the kinks and bugs are out of it, he gained a testimony that this is a good car. So that's how it is when it comes to Christ and the scriptures. So that's what salvation is. It's a part of having insurance where God and Jesus covers you. And you have to contribute every day of your life so that relationship between God won't lapse like an insurance plan. And when you commit sin, by you contributing so many years, you may have a small deductible. But by you going for so long without so many accidents, or by you not having no accidents for so long, when you do have an accident you only have to pay a small deductible because why Jesus blood covered the major cost of your damages so what would that deductible be TLT 1020 that deductible would be turn away from your sins